Hello folks, today is a good day because we've got a scratch build coming. G-Skill got in contact with us to do a crazy build for Computex 2019 that shows off their Trident Z Royal Memory. So what is the plan for this build? Well, you'll notice there's an awful lot of stuff on this bench. And that's because EK Waterbox has kindly decided to offer all of the water cooling for this build. And that's quite a big deal because this being a scratch build, we can make the most of it. In fact, the whole structure is going to be made from 5mm aluminium that's going to be polished to match the dims that I've got over here. And I'm also going to be remaking the sort of crystal effect water blocks to wrap all of the water cooling throughout the case. So it should be quite an interesting one. Speaking of which, let's get started right now with something that's been bugging me a little bit with EK's Velocity water blocks. So this has been a bit of a bugbear of mine for a while now, and it's all to do with this plastic tab over here on the block. Now, the design of that I'm actually okay with. I think that looks quite nice. The problem is the material used here. So let's take a closer look at it. So if we take the block itself apart, we can remove this cover that goes around the outside of the block. Now, what's my problem with this? Where's my beef? Well, this is just injection molded plastic. This is a very solid water block, this. This plate's made of solid copper, and this is completely solid brass. So it feels a little bit out of place, if you ask me, to have a hollow piece of plastic in there. So I think a good point to start with this mod would be making a brand new one of those out of some 10 millimeter thick aluminium. I've got some 10 millimeter aluminium here. Why don't we pop this on the machine and get one cut?
Now that is a lot better, I think. In addition to this aluminium one, I also made one out of acetal just to see what it would be like. And whilst it does look nice, I think on balance, I'm definitely gonna go for the aluminium one because it just matches not only the block itself, but my proposal for the rig a lot better because there's gonna be an awful lot of metal and shiny stuff. I think it just makes more sense to have this nice and shiny collar on the outside here. Now I'm really happy with how the text came out because that was done in a slightly more difficult way than I normally would have done. So instead of painting over it with a stencil, what I did is I took the uh, engraving bit and then went down 0.2 millimeters below the surface. I then inlaid it with a resin and then sanded it down nice and flat again. So that means the actual text itself is inside the metal and really flush and smooth. So all the reflections are kept nice and consistent along the whole surface and it feels really, really nice. But at the moment, I've just been really vague with the description for this rig. So let's whip out the whiteboard and I'll be able to give you a proper idea of what I've got in store. So what kind of structure are we hoping to go with for this rig? Well, I think the first thing is because we're dealing with memory primarily here, we're going to want to have it very open. We don't want to have anything obstructing it. So that means why bother with windows in a case when you can just have the whole motherboard just sticking on the outside, make it like an open test bench type thing. We've got our four sticks chilling over there on the right and our CPU block somewhere around here. Now I was thinking we can make the whole chassis into a royal dim. That makes perfect sense to me. So if we have something like maybe chilling at the top here. And that gives us quite an interesting opportunity to try something new. And that will be filling in these areas here. And this will have the crystal effect that we've got on the RAM. And then we can put the graphics card vertically somewhere like that. Probably gonna have ports coming up there. And I was thinking we can maybe have the tubes go down here. And then we can have these tubes go up like that. Sorry, this is all wonky, by the way. I'm drawing at an angle, so I can't really see it. It looks straight from here, but if you know that from the camera, it looks completely different. And then what we'll do is we'll have big radiators. We've got the 480 millimeter radiator, which can go over here, I think. Yeah, look at that, that's terrible. Let's, let's redo that line. And then on top of the radiator, we can have another one of these sort of dim shaped ones here. Downwards like that. And then the really special thing is that on here, we're gonna have the crystal pattern that we find on the dims themselves, I'm gonna be putting onto the acrylic. And that's going to be quite an interesting one because it's going to be very, very three-dimensional milling. I've done that before in little tests, but I've never done like a really big piece. And the chances are this is going to be either done with 20 millimeter thick acrylic or maybe a sandwich layer of two different types. But that's the plan for that. And then I'll have LED strips running here behind this aluminium on the inside. And they're going to shine outwards and they'll be addressable ones, hopefully. So then we'll have that lovely rainbow that can be uh, synced up with the RAM and the other parts of the build itself. Power supply is going to be going around the back underneath. So it'll be somewhere like that. And I'm going to be using the smallest one that I possibly can. So I've got a, um, well, within reason, I've got a, an SF600, which is going to be going in there instead. Plenty of power to, to power this rig, but obviously I want to have minimal space taken up and just be easier for cabling. So that's the reason I'm going to go with that. And then chances are I'm going to do like a distro plate, which we're doing green, which will go behind here, our ports here, here, and it'll go all the way down here as well. But inside that, there's going to be somewhere in the back here, a DDC pump, which is going to be built into that plate. So hopefully that should result in something pretty cool. It will look much bigger than this, uh, obviously, because the motherboard here is only 30 centimeters tall and this thing's going to be like 500 or so. It's going to be much, much larger. 
which in turn is going to make it really heavy because obviously it's all going to be made from four, five, and in some parts maybe even 10 millimeter thick aluminium and 10 millimeter to 20 millimeter thick acrylic. So this is going to be quite a heavy rig by the end of it, but it should be an absolute showstopper. And I think it's going to be pretty fantastic. That said, I've now got a hell of a lot of work to do. I'm going to go get this all drawn up, properly designed in CAD so that we can start doing the cutting work and all the design parts. I've got a ton of aluminium arriving within the next week and also acrylic to go with that. So it should be quite exciting. We're going to have lots of interesting progress over the coming weeks and I hope you'll find it interesting. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and also check out the BitTech forums where there's loads of really cool projects going on as we speak. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Discord and builds.gg. Take care, folks, and I'll catch you later in part two. An annoying fly just sitting in the front there. Like, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> it's just like, no pressure though. G Skill got in contact wanting an insane rig for their new to show off their Trident <laughs> this is, It's happening again. It's happening again. It's because he's standing there staring at me. Zed. <laughs> okay. Right, pretext to show off their Trident Z Royal Ram. Royal Ram just sounds. Don't say Royal Memory, because Royal Ram. The Royal Ram. Nah. <laughs> With us to do a build for Computex to show off their. Can't say it. Okay. Because we've got a. It's getting worse and worse, isn't it? Can you go? Can you go make a cup of tea, Matt? <laughs> 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 <laughs>